I'm fine with my performance today. Except in doubles. And I kind of just dropped out of PM to eat dinner. Did you team with Tyre? Yeah, we only got like fifth. Mm. We had a bunch of really close games that we lost. And it, it was messy. Anyway, so into the next match. Winners finals. female fighters. <laughs> so, do you want to tell the stream about these guys or do you want me to? Because this is Tyre versus Ned. You go ahead and tell them about it. All right. So, as anyone in Chicago will tell you, uh, Ned has a bit of a problem about Tyroi. I believe their current set count is about 12-0? Oh. <laughs> but, like, 12-0! Oh. And go back after this... Okay, yeah, Tyroi's... Tyroi's so, wow. After this, go back, watch the MASHFEST 2 VODs. Watch Ned versus Tyroi. You will see Ned in a position where you think there's no possible way Ned cannot win this. And Tyroi still pulls it off. Tyroi has some serious plot armor. Tyroi's his movement right now has been ridiculous. Oh, now. that's Just as I say that, I perfectly curse him to kill himself. But, uh, yeah. Tyroi, I have to be impressed, right? The Sheik's on point. His Bayonetta is on point. His Cloud's oh on point. His <laughs> Meta Knight's on point. This Show guy, this guy is a fierce four mainer. Showing Ned what's up. Up air, up air, up B. Bayonetta. These Where really are two sides of the same coin, though. Yep, you have the one character that's actually good, and the one character that's just annoying to fight against. Oh no! The what? spot dodge! What? How? The spot this dodge! Dude. Ned knows the matchup! Who gets the trump? He's got no. Okay, yeah. I was expecting a boot. Oh, we get the Easter egg. That was a really good. Oh no. Man, I, I don't understand Bayonetta enough still. I see I see her do crazy stuff, and I, I just think it's over. Just use shield, and then... Eh. Wait well, wait for her to do something. Bayonetta and Zero Suit are similar Ooh. in the matchup, right? They have they have an ability to kind of poke you with a projectile, but really they get either the grab, or in Bayonetta's case, you get the down tilt, or um, what any of her starters, really. She's got a lot of starters um, for the combo. But once they get their combo done... You just kind of hold your DI and pray. Oh, oh, why is this character? Oh. Who designed this character? Why does up air kill? And people want smaller band. <laughs> well, you know, I will acquiesce smaller is a bit better than Bayonetta, but he's not better than Meta Knight. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, going into game two. Back on Smashville. Right, game one will Smashville? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Ned's like, I got this. This is a good zero suit stage. I just need to shield more. Woo! Yeah, you think you can punish the side B, but you really should just wait. Yeah, I mean, Ned's been smart about this. He's getting a lot of pressure, but he hasn't been overcommitting. And that's what you have to do as zero suit. If you overcommit for a second, you're done. Right? He whiffed that grab because he tried to get the dash grab, and he only did the standing grab. And uh, as a result, he just now he's up to 75, all because he didn't dash grab. It's such a hard life as both of these characters. If your combo game, punish game isn't so perfect. Woo! Trying to bait not a sh oh, that was not the optimal punish, Tyra. Come on. But yeah, the interesting thing is about side B is that it's not safe on block, but it is safe on whiff. Right. Because it does not do as much shield stun as you'd like it to as a Bayonetta main. But, hey, that's the Tyroi special. Landing forward air into the punch. Yeah, that's, that's pretty uh, pretty good. That's a, yeah, it's a good follow-up. I give it like a 8 or so out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 8. Great bait, mate. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, we got some great eights uh, over here anyway. The stunner gunner, and that's yep. a back air. Ned showing that Tyro is not the only one who has the access to the back air. Oh, but Tyro has some back airs too. <laughs> F-tilt. Yeah, I guess shield grab wouldn't have worked. Poor Zero Suit. Very smart. Baiting out oh that. Oh boy. He, he uses his own up B a little bit too early. Oh, what? Gets what nothing was that? off the jump kick. 
All right, so this is pretty close. Both of these characters have such crazy combo games. I like the use of the Zare. He's putting out a lot of aerial pressure right now. And here's the thing. Tyra's got a lot of characters. Ned kind of just plays, uh, you know, he's got some secondaries, but they're not as good as his Zero Suit or his Cloud. So he's really going to have to run the gauntlet here. This is a best of five. If he beats this Bayonetta, then he's going to have to run through quite a few of Tyra's other characters and adapt pretty quickly. Well, as Tyra just gets to keep the knowledge of what Ned Zero Suit's going to do, unless he wants to pull out the Cloud, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, nice drift back. That was so clutch. The fact that the fact that Tyroi missed that up smash and that Ned was actually able to capitalize on because that entire match, right, had been them missing and whiffing these punishes, and we were kind of getting on them for it. But right when it mattered, Ned was able to get that up B, make sure that every hit landed, and... Uh, Tyroi's going up to CSS. So he's switching. Bring 1-1. One, one. He doesn't have faith in Bayonetta at all. I keep telling him how mid-tier trash he is. <laughs> oh! But I guess he decides to stay? Or are they just picking the stage? All right, we're going more Bayonetta. Thinking, that was a fluke. I had that. I just need to dub smash the other direction. I do not know about this stage for Bayonetta. I mean, yes, she kills off the top. Well, okay, never mind. I love, I love this stage for Bayonetta. I, I take back everything I said. I forgot that she can do all of the same crazy combos as all of his other characters. Yeah, Tyroi likes characters that have auto combos. This this is a stage that Tyroi probably plays most on, right? Uh, Sheik's great on here, Cloud's great on here, Bayonetta's great on here, Meta Knight's great on here. Yes, but you're discounting Duck Hunt. <laughs> we love Duck Hunt over here. We or you? Sh Shambana, in general. Oh, yeah. That's Duck the Hunt, Shambana. Duck Hunt is definitely the stage for the homies, but Whoa! another reversal! Well, then. Ned capitalizing on just the tiniest drop in Tyroi's punish or a combo game. That's no. the thing about Bayonetta, right? She has the potential to zero to death you, but you have to be perfect. And if you're not, uh, Zero Suit is a little bit easier in the sense that I just have to hit up B in the right spot. Yeah. And let me just remind the viewers how big this would be if Ned can win this set. Because he has never beaten Tyro in a tournament set, and they've played like 12 times. Like, again, if you watch the Mash Fest 2 video of them playing each other, it's just like, how could Ned possibly not win this? And then Tyro just brings it back. Ned's doing an amazing job of baiting out those Witch Time air dodges and getting a grab off of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Witch Time, you know, it's powerful when you land it, but... Ooh, that was good. Uh, At this point, Tyro just wants to finish the stock. Yeah, Bayonetta has a... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, Bayonetta has a bit of a problem killing, but she really doesn't. That's not true at all. She just doesn't have a kill setup, that's all. Yeah, but, you know, you just got to hit that back air, that up air. Gets the witch time! Is this going to be big? Ooh, ah, oh, doing the little flippy floppy out of the combo. Yep. Man, that flippy floppy is overpowered. I don't know why they boost Jump. nerfed boost kick instead. Jump kick and, and all of uh, the weird derivations of uh, Zero Suit Samus' down B are so good for getting out of combos. But anyway, really Tyra bringing this back. L like I said before, you'll think Ned has this in the bag, and then Tyra just comes out of nowhere with these crazy combos, and oh That's boy! One of them. Is that it? I don't... Yeah! You think it's over, and then Tyra just says no. He just he keeps just going. Is in his head. He just does the Tyra thing, and Ned's done for. I mean, if you think about it, right, the game Ned won, and the first stock of that uh, match. Ned Sheik? Ned Sheik? I don't, I'm not from Chicago anymore. I don't go to a lot of Chicago tournaments, but is this a real thing? I mean, maybe he's just trying to use that advantage. Sheik is a strictly better character than Bayonetta. I mean, Zero Suit's a strictly better character than Bayonetta. And he plays Zero Suit. <laughs> Yeah, this is looking pretty sloppy already, just in terms of the combo game uh, for Ned. But I, I have faith in him. Uh oh, or I did. That was some good DI from Ned. If he hadn't, I think that was down and away DI. If he hadn't done that, that jab jab would have led into more spooky stuff. Hi. <laughs> anyway. So I'm waiting for something to impress me from Ned in terms of this Sheik play. It's just unfair as 
forward throw into Bouncing Fish, charging with Needles. Not to say oh. that he's bad, but like I just I'm waiting to see something from this zero, uh, from this chic that the zero suit couldn't do, you know? Yeah. Oh man, if he gets like up air, up air vanish, wouldn't that be crazy? It would be. <laughs> That's how you know Smash Four commentary is at a good spot where we're just wishing <laughs> something cool would happen. Yeah. But some cool stuff is happening, right? These players are dancing around each other a oh. lot. Another great wait by Ned. Yeah, I don't think Ned's falling for these witch times, even though he fell for a witch time at the end of the last game. Yeah. And it cost him the game. Man, commentating Bayonetta matches is kind of depressing. <laughs> but Ned, pulling it out. He's got it. He's got the lead, which in some cases is worse than being behind. I mean, I can get when percent leads do it, but like, against Bayonetta, you very much want the lead. Because if you can get to the point where you don't need to approach Bayonetta, that's a good spot to be in. Because you can just kind of wait. You just got a turtle. And Bayonetta doesn't really have any options to deal with that. Oh, almost the Trump Bear. Good DI by Ned to get away from it. Oh, Spot Dodge is the down tilt, but the down tilt is safe on Spot Dodge. Jeez. Oh, that was a hard read. I would have been sick if Tyro got it, but... Would it have killed? Doesn't... Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. He's at very high percent. It really depends oh. on DI. That was a risky fist. Oh, and Ned... So Ned warming up his cheek, actually. He's getting a lot more hits for every exchange. And he's actually keeping uh, Tyro off stage. I mean, this is looking pretty good for Ned, but I'm pretty sure Tyro was in about the same spot as this last game, and he still pulled it off. Yeah. Let's try not to jinx that, but <laughs> he's got quite a hill to climb in terms of uh, he cannot drop another match. Tyro going for all of these grabs. You know, I don't get why Ned's approaching. He can just throw needles. I mean, Ned still has a full stock lead. Oh boy. Why is my Tyra jumping out and then the bear? And Tyra does a couple bears just to show off that bear is a good move. Can this be it? Uh, nope, oh, Tyra ain't no falling way. for it. Come on, Ned. Not against Bayonetta. Oh. Yo! <laughs> the second hit of the up smash going through the witch time. Yo. Ned poised to actually dethrone this kind of demon he's been dealing with in Chicago. I don't know about that. No. I don't know about that. If he stays chic, then Tyra gets to go to another character. King DDD? Yeah, Ned's got to think hard. Because Ned has to pick a character that's ready for every single one of Tyra's characters. That's the thing, right? And Tyra got Sheik, he got Meta Knight, he's got Bayonetta, he's got Cloud. But if he switches back to Zero Suit, then Tyra might just stick with Bayonetta. I've heard Tyra does not like the Sheik ditto, but we'll see if he wants to do the Meta Knight thing. Meta Knight is good against Sheik. I mean, not exceptionally, but if you don't know the matchup of Tyroy's Meta Knight specifically, he's going to give you a hard time, just because he likes to dare camp. And yeah. there's not a whole lot of ways to do that with Sheik. So, Bayonetta. staying Bayonetta, this is a questionable decision. But he does get the stage pick. Whoa. Cloud? I've heard Tyro say that Ned's cloud is better than his, so he's probably not going to cloud ditto. Maybe Sheik cloud? Or are we just paying to win here? Alright, these guys have 599. We're going to the duck hunt. <laughs> so, we got champagne, champagne special duck hunt. I don't even think this stage is good for Bayonetta. I think this might actually be Bayonetta's worst stage. This is better for Cloud for sure. He's Yo, got a wall 1%, jump. Yo, 1%! Camp him out! He's got he's got a wall jump, right? Uh, Cloud also can kill off the top very easily with that tree. Um, he can kill know. off the side pretty well. Like, I just think this is a good stage for Cloud. Why did he can get up air. Right? I don't know. Maybe Stay he forgot. Bayonetta. Maybe he thought he was Cloud. No, I get going Duck Hunt because that's the Shambana special. Everyone in Shambana knows how to play against Duck Hunt, but... Like, why not Sheik or Meta? <laughs> I guess Meta Knight's not that great on this stage either, but he could just play Sheik. Why doesn't he play Sheik? I do not know. Well, we will find out. Oh, that's spooky. 
Yeah, what, what, what's, what's sharking happening? from that? Oh, he charged it all the way up. He charged every bit of it. But as we know from the great... Whoa! You can bat within out of that. Who made this character? Anyway, um... Yeah, as we've seen from MASH Fest 2. I mean, oh, that's really oh, good. Oh, I like that on this stage. Uh, but Cloud also likes that a lot more. Yeah, Tyra's been behind a lot more than this, though. Like... Whoa! The dog came in and was like, no limit cross oh, slashes. We got three up airs, can we get more? These guys are definitely paying to win right now. Bye, Cloud. That'll be it. No? Oh, wait. I think that actually saved him. Nah, I didn't see red sparks. I thought I did. Oh, well. In any case, uh, Cloud cannot handle another strong move. Oh, I don't know if Tyra's, why Tyra's going for that. I'm not sure if he could have gotten a conversion off of that because the timer is a bit stale. Jeez, this limit could end it. But we all know really? Tyroid has plot armor. Tyroid <laughs> does have plot armor. That uses up his limit. Let's see if the plot armor can pull through again. Well, uh... Good DI. I got a root for Ned. I always gotta go for the underdog, even if he's not from our, our uh, town, per se. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is looking so bad for Tyroid, but, like... With, with Tyra's plot armor, I'd put this at about even. <laughs> now, now that uh, Ned has limit break, rage, and one <laughs> An more stock. Whole stock, it's about even. It's about even. <laughs> Ether not quite killing yet. Oh, almost shoots the gun at him. Oh, this could be big. Nah, never mind. Cloud doesn't get stuff down. Whoa! It's it's all over. He's finally shocked? done it! Are you, are, you, are you impressed? Ned has broken the curse. Good good job to Ned. I mean, we, we, I always like saw to see people today. get over their uh, personal barriers, even this, if it meant our guy losing. This was history today. <laughs> the first time ever. I think, uh, I think it really comes down to uh, not getting too stubborn, right? We don't really understand what was going through Tyroy's head mm -hmm. when it came to why he stuck with Bayonetta, why he went to Duck Hunt. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it just looked like a better stage for well, Cloud. Like, Duck Hunt, yeah, I get Duck Hunt, because it's Duck Hunt. And we love Duck Hunt here, but 